welcome back to Airbrush Review SA. Today we will show you on the Puncher Empire how to change your, your cocking lever from the right hand side to the left hand side. So what you need is your two Allen key sizes so that you can loosen up some Allen key bolts, um, your pliers and preferably like a cloth or a rubber mat that we use today and a screwdriver, a small flat. So let's go see how it's done. So what you would want to do first is make sure that you don't have any bullets or magazine inside your gun. So you make sure that it's uncocked, so there's no pressure. So have a look at the top here. You've got two Allen keys. We actually got three, but the two middle ones is the ones that you're going to have to break loose. So they are quite tight. So it's the grub screws holding the barrel in place. So remove them. So let's do that. Make sure you don't lose your grub screws, so that's how they'll look. There we go. Remove them, put them one side. Then you would want to loosen this piece on the top here. It's also quite tight. Make sure it's loose. Once that is loose, you slide out your barrel. So you hold top of your rail and you give it a twisty motion. And you'll see there, it comes out. So this is where you'll see your barrel seals on the outside and then you've got your one on the inside there. So when you put this thing back in, make sure that you line up these notches to the top, but which you can see them through the hole. But anyway, put that one away. Now what we're going to do is, if you see this barrel over here, uh, barrel, just put it in here. You're going to loosen this piece over here also quite tight remove that bolt you'll see there it's out Just make sure you don't lose all your bolts then you're going to see you can remove your cocking lever but now you'll see there's a screw that's where you take your flathead screwdriver inside there and you remove it out turn it out Once that is out, see it's got its little bearing on the inside, don't lose your spares. You're going to then want to remove the one on the inside here. So what you do is you push down there, it turns it so that you can get your screwdriver into the screw there and you loosen this one. Just make sure you got the right size screwdriver. This one is a little bit too big, but it, it does the job. So once the screw is out, you pull it out, then you're going to change this now to the left hand or the, yeah, the left hand side of the gun. You're going to put the screw back in, Let's just line it up like that, and then you tighten it from this side. So remember, move this thing to the side and then you can tighten it in. Make sure you tighten it, not too tight, because then it doesn't move, so you back it off a little bit. So it can move freely. Then you would take your cocking lever, let's just turn the gun around. 
Now you'll see, once you put on this cocking lever, with its bushing, so he has the bushing, make sure that you slide it, because it was in like that, you slide it out, put it into the top, and that's how you would put it back in, but now look where your cocking lever is. That's where you would use your rubber pad, put it over here, take your pliers, and you loosen it. So it screws loose, anti-clockwise. Once it's loose, you put it in from the bottom, and you tighten that up. And then we're gonna install our bushing from the bottom, sorry, like that, in there, like that. And then we're gonna get our screw. Tighten our screw in there. Tighten that up. Make sure it's lined up in the hole. And just turn it in. It up, movable, and you take this here, line it up, put in that small screw again with a flat head on the top. So, if you see if it was on the right hand side, it was on the top, you then turn this one around, turn the gun upside down, line this up here, and then you put in the screw from the bottom in. You yeah, can have a look there. Put it in the bottom. Make sure it's lined up and then start screwing it in. Make sure it's all lined up. If it's not lined up it won't go into the screw threads. There we go. And what you then do is turn it up again, install your barrel, like I said, make sure that those two notches are facing to the top, slide it in. You can gauge it from the top here once you push it in, more or less where those notches should be. You can just push it in all the way, you can see it over here, right here. On the inside it's flush then you know your port and everything would line up once that is done take your two grab screws screw them in like that What you can do is you can move the barrel a little bit left to right and you can feel when these grub screws have aligned in those countersunk drill holes into your barrel and then you just give them a tightener and that is it that's how you do it please like share and subscribe to Everest Review SA and that's how you change the cocking lever from the right hand to the left hand side see you in the next one